Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about subsets and the symbols that are used. So a subset of a set is a set that only contains elements from a given set, but not necessarily all of them. So it's denoted by the symbol with a sideways U with a line underneath it. Um, so anytime that you would see this symbol, you would read it as a subset. Notice that this one does have a line underneath it. That means that the subset could technically be the original set um, and have all of them. But in order to be a proper subset, a proper subset has to be a subset that is not identical to the given set. So it has to have at least one element less than the given set. And it's denoted by this symbol right here. So notice that this one is a sideways U without a line underneath it. So this is the proper subset symbol. Um, a proper subset is also a subset, but there is an exception that a subset can contain the original one. So let's look at a couple of examples. So we're going to, we're given that set A is equal to the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we want to determine if the following are subsets. So B is equal to A, C, and F. So notice that A, C, and F we can find in our original um, set. So we could say that yes, this is a subset. So you could write it in English or you could write it in symbol form. So we could say that B is a subset of A. We could also say, since all of the elements aren't contained, that B is a proper subset of A. So either one of those symbols could be used for this situation, since it is both a subset and a proper subset. All right, so for the next one that we have, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So if you notice this time, it has all of the same elements, so it's equal to it, so it's an equivalent set. Um, anytime they match up, it's an equivalent set. But based on the defi definition, we could say that yes, this is a subset, but it is not a proper subset. So we can say that B is a subset of A. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at B. I should say C, this one's set C, is a subset of A. And we could say that C is not, if you draw a line through it, that means is not a proper subset of A. So while it is a subset, it is not a proper subset. All right. And then looking at our last one, we have the letters A, G, M, and N. So I can find A. And I can find G, but M and N are not in the original set. So we would say that no, D is not a subset. And you can write this symbolically that D is not a subset of A. Or you could say that it's also not a proper subset. So in order to be a subset, it has to have the same elements and it can't have extra ones. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.